Okay, let us begin. The Fair Credit Reporting Act. Remember, this is the organization we talked about in book one. We talked about them in book two. The Fair Credit Reporting Act is the government entity that requires the credit reporting agencies to collect correct information and put it in your credit report. That is why I tell you when you look at your credit report such as John to scrutinize the information that's in your account history section or your personal profile. You want to make sure that the information that's in the report is correct. Let me tell you about some of your other rights under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. You also know that you have a right to a free copy of your credit report every year from each credit reporting agency or consumer reporting agency. It does not matter. If you have been denied credit by any company, they must provide you with the name of the credit reporting agency that they receive that information from. You also have a right to file a dispute with the credit reporting agency or the creditor. And if for whatever reason, if that dispute is not resolved, then you also have a right to include a summary statement in your credit report. And in your summary statement, you can tell any creditor who is looking at your credit report that you disagree with the outcome of that particular dispute. Now, your statement has to be pretty short. I believe somewhere in the ballpark of 30 to 50 words. But you know what? All you have to do is go to our writing lab and we'll show you how to include a very concise summary statement regarding any issue you may have with the creditor or with the credit reporting agency.